Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So one of my subscriber Mr. Sanjeev is asking me, he has heard that before fitting a machine learning model, highly correlated features should be removed. Can I explain on that? Thanks Mr. Sanjeev for asking this question. And you know what? Today we will cover in detail about the answer of this question. This question is a favorite interview question for many interviewers. So when you go and explain your data science project, right? So this is how people will explain. I took the data, blah, blah, blah. Then we did some feature engineering, blah, blah. We removed some correlated feature. And that is where interviewer might stop you and say, hey, can you tell me why multicollinearity is a problem? We will understand in detail what is multicollinearity why that is a problem and what are the ways to remove it. Let us start one by one. Okay. So first of all, what is multicollinearity? So guys, multicollinearity is a scenario in which two of your independent variables are highly correlated. Now what is correlation guys? Correlation is if two variables are strongly related to each other. An example will be Let's say you capture employee data of an organization. In one column, you put age of the employee. In other column, you put numbers of years of experience. Okay. So it is highly possible that, you know, as age increases, numbers of years of experience also increases. These two variables are said to be highly positively correlated. There can be negative correlation also. For example, if you say age of a person and years left to retire. Let us put an imaginary variable here. Number of years to retire. Okay. So if age increases, then number of years left to retire will decrease, right? This is a negative correlation. In your data, if two variables are having any kind of this correlation, negative or positive, that is called a multicollinearity problem. Okay. Why multicollinearity is a problem? Before that, we will understand why there is multicollinearity in the data. Let me write a simple equation here, guys. Okay. Let me omit this. Let me omit this. So let me write here sales is equal to. So I'm assuming, let us say you sell this marker. Okay. Sales is equal to, let us say I'm putting 10 plus 10 plus 0 0.8 into advertisement budget add budget okay okay plus 0 0.3 into production quantity or prod quantity just a simple model simple linear regression equation let's say how many independent variables we have two budget and production how many target variables one sales for this marker now let us imagine a scenario where while capturing the data we capture ad budget and we also capture TV ad budget. Okay. So one more variable here plus 0 0.1 into TV ad budget. Fine. Now TV ad budget is a component of total ad budget, right? Hence, these two variables are highly correlated. This scenario in a regression model or any model, let's say, is called a multicollinearity scenario. But this is a problem in regression only. I will tell you how and why in some time. But please understand why it occurs. So this is one way in which it can occur. In data capture, you have captured a duplicate variable or let us say duplicate information. This is one way. This is called data related multicollinearity. Another kind of multicollinearity can be structure related. For example, let us say I'm doing some feature engineering on this data. Okay. And I add another variable. I call that production square. Okay. New variable prod square. Now this new variable guys is coming from the prod variable. Okay. So these two variables are highly correlated again. How it has come? It has come from the structure of the data. So it is quite possible that while doing feature engineering, while doing some data pre-processing, we might create some of these. These, these are the ways in which you will have a multi-collinearity scenario in your data. Why it is a problem? Okay. Let us go to the basic of what is the purpose of a regression model. 
it a logistic regression, linear regression, any regression. We want to understand how each of these variables, each of these variables are impacting the target variable individually. This is very important guys. I will repeat it again. When you write y is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus c, what you say here is for every unit increase in x1, there is y will shift by m1, okay, keeping all other variables constant. This is the explanation of this m1. If I ask you what is the explanation for m2, you will say me for every unit shift in x2, y shifts by m2 keeping other variable constant, fine. Now here see these coefficients guys, these coefficients have come from the linear regression model, okay. Now practically, practically from the common sense, suppose I want to know how my ad budget is impacting sales and there is TV as ad budget also in the data. Do you think that if I change TV ad budget, ad budget will remain constant? Not possible, right? Hence, these coefficients value determination will get impacted badly. Coefficients values will not be same. I want you to do a small exercise here guys, okay? Do one thing, create a data, okay? X1 and X2. In X1 you put the value 1, 2, 3. In X2 you put the value 2, 4 and 6. Put something in Y, okay? Any value that you want, 10, 12, 14, let's say. Create this simple data in Python. Run a regression model with both these variables. See what is your coefficient and what is your p-value, fine? And second run, you drop one variable, let's say x1 you drop and run the model with only x2, y and x2. See how your p-value is looking like and how your coefficient is looking like. You will get the answer of how multicollinearity screws your coefficients. If by any reason or by any means our coefficients are screwed in a regression model, then that model is of no use guys. You and me know from our knowledge that the reason we go for regression model is we want to understand the impact of all these variables on the target individually. If we are not able to understand that impact from the coefficients, then the you know meaning of the regression model is not fulfilled. And that is the reason in regression model, you should not have multicollinearity in the data. Fine. This applies for both positive and negative correlation. Now what we do if we have this type of data, then what we do? There are two, three ways. One way is guys, if you have let's say limited number of features in your data, right? Let's say 20, 30 features. What you can do is you can create a correlation matrix like this. Correlation matrix will give you all your variables correlation value with other variable, okay? So for example, x1, x2, x3, here you can have x1, x2, x3, correct? It will say you 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then you can put a threshold saying anything above than 0 0.9, remove one of the variable. For example, in this case, I can remove this add budget variable completely from my analysis because my correlation value will be high. That is one way when you have limited number of variables in your data. One question I have from you here that you have to answer me in the comment, okay? Let us say there are two variables x1 and x2 in the data, okay? Both are highly correlated. Now we have discussed one of these should be taken out. Which one is my question to you, okay? Which one? You have to answer me in the comment. Moving ahead, this is one way. Second way is something known as little advanced regression techniques known as RASO and ridge regression. In this regression, what will happen is model will penalize you for the duplicate information, okay? And it will shrink the coefficients. I can explain you in detail how these regression work. Let me know in comment if you want me to do that, okay? So I will just reiterate what all we learned in this video. What is multicollinearity? A phenomena where two variables are highly correlated in the data, independent variables. Uh, what are different ways in which multicollinearity multi can occur? Data related, structure related, okay? How to tackle if limited feature, put a threshold, remove one variable, which one you have to answer me in comment. Otherwise, go for some advanced uh, 
uh, regression techniques like lasso and ridge regression and the and the idea of regression model is to get these coefficients these are the most important feature of a regression model so we cannot let these coefficients get spoiled by anything so i hope you understood what is multicollinearity why it is a problem how to overcome it and you know you i gave you one small assignment to do a slight it will take just 5 minutes do a hands on and see how your coefficients are changing okay that will give you an idea about what happens so let me know what doubts you have guys what comments you have i'll see you all in the next video till then wherever you are stay safe and take care